this project called 0s06 Python classes objects. I believe that most of us, as like all, it like is a compulsory. You have to go through your resources, read your materials, and um, know the requirements of things and how to execute these um, tasks. I encourage us to make sure you go through it so that you will not be missed out on what I'm doing here today. This video is going to show us on how to execute this task and I have listed um, the steps on how to do it. Before we start, please, if today is your first time, welcome and kindly subscribe to my channel, comment, share and like and turn on the notification button to stay updated. For returning subscribers, thank you very much in building this community together. So like I said, you have to follow these steps to get it done. And if you listen or kind of watch the previous video I did, you will understand what I'm trying to do. You just the same um, steps that we used to do the other one that is going to be used on this particular task. Now let's get started. First and foremost, you have to CD into you have to CD into your repository, which is this, which is this. You have to CD into your repo. You hit enter, and um, I've already done this task before. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to redo it. I'm going to show us how to do it yes so you now have to make your directory which is this how to make your directory after that you cd into your directory you cd into your directory which is this if you list you can see i have done some of this here before i have a little bit um, network challenge so now we have um kind of created our readme file you know how to do that to create a readme file so let me vi into um this um tax let me vi into this tax this is tax zero this is tag zero. If you veer into it, you will see the code. This is the code to impute. Like this is the script to impute under this. After that, you have to, you know, save and quit. Then there is one particular um, file you are asked to create after creating each file, which is um zero slash main dot pi file you have to create each of these files that has been given as an example in our um project page if you go through the um, your project page your tax page you will see each file you are asked to create that is a that is a uh, a script given as an example that is um, called zero slash men dot py. You have to create that file too. Are you going to do it? If you check there, you will see the DDEM cards like this, something like this cards zero slash men dot py. So, what you will do is to vi into this task to into this file to create it like this once you create it you will come to your tax page you will see this um file on that there is a script given as an example is a code given as an example you will copy it and paste it here then hit your escape pwq 
means you have already created this file. Each of these particular files that you are to create have its own main.py file. This one is tax zero that has zero slash main.py file and um, tax one has its own which is um, one slash main.py file. So after creating the file, you will come and create this one too. You use your VI to create it. You hit enter. This is the script to impute under this um, file you have created. Then you hit your escape key, save and quit. Then you go to your tax um, page under it, you will see your main.py file again, which is different from the first one. It, like I said, each of the tasks has its own main.py file. So any task you create, you have to create, um, you have to create it uh, main dot main.py file given below. So once you finish that, you have to schmod or your file let me create another one so that i will show you what next to do so you have to create another one which is three square once you create your um the next task you hit your enter then you copy this code this script here You copy this script here. This is the script to impute. You hit your escape key, WQ, and hit enter. Then you will go and create its own main.py file given below under this um, file. You will see it there. So once you finish, you will smudge the files. How do you mod the files? You use the all. Like, make sure you create all your file, all from tax zero to the advanced tax, which is this one. You can see the code. They are here. I'm going to include the um, kind of um, include this code into here. Like, under the description of this video, um, we are going to see a link containing all these files so you can download them and make use of them so after you must have created all the files from one to end you will now have to schmod your file you know the code to do that space asterisk you know the work of this asterisk is to um is to um schmod all files you have created this asterisk is to schmod all the files you have created including your readme and other files that are not meant to be you know make executable then once you do it this way you hit enter then you will now come back to remove those files that are not meant to be schmod like example your your readme file you will come and do your schmod um, minus x in the place of that plot you put before when you are schmodding you are going to replace it with um minus sign trying to tell the command to remove this um, readme file so when you do that you will now write the file name you now hit enter on your keyboard then it will automatically remove this um, readme file and any other one that are not meant to be, you know, schmored out of um, executable file. Remember, when you make your files executable, it's going to turn from white to green, as you can see it here. That's just how to do it. So after that, you now you do your git add it commits know how to do all that then you do your 
it push when you push your file you check your code thank you very much and i believe and hope this video have you know um helped you to do one or two please don't forget to subscribe to my channel um turn on the notification button like comment and share see you next time in my 